What's up, workaholics? Welcome back to Do Work Media Charleston. I am the Hemp Lord. Let's go up to Rhode Island to see what's up with that girl, Tiara Mack. But first, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your reaction in the comments. Let's go. I am not going to apologize for being myself and for living a joyful life and for being uh, unapologetically myself in every instance and enjoying a beautiful day off. I am not going to apologize for showing exactly and telling exactly who I am every single step of the way of my campaign. For the folks who voted for me, they know that Tiara Mac is a silly, authentic, and sometimes bold leader. Uh, I will not apologize for being who I am. I will not apologize for fiercely leading my community with a new and fresh voice and mobilizing more people to stand up for their rights alongside me. I will not apologize for showing young queer Black women that they can live a joyful life and still make a positive impact in their community. And I will not apologize for being able to do a headstand. Um, and I will not apologize for, you know, having enough cake to twerk. <laughs> It is no shock that criticism about me uh, enjoying my free time and using my body to express joy with a small group of friends while on the beach in a bikini that many people wear is coming on the heels of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Since the twerking video came out, there have been a subsect of racist, misogynistic people who have called me anything and everything from uh, the N-word to uh, fat to uh, gorilla. Um, many of the negative comments I received have been racially motivated. They have been racially disgusting. They have been comments on my body. Um, and none of them have to do with the policy. This has been a very targeted um, attack on my person. Um, and again, it is very convenient for the, uh, the GOP to try to create a narrative that Black people and people of color are um, changing um, society. There is a status quo and just because the status quo is changing and the people who lead our country look different doesn't mean that is bad it's just different we need new people who are willing to shake up how we've done things because quite frankly how we've done things has not worked people are divested people don't even feel like their vote matters people don't feel like they have an impact in their community and i hope that more people see that you can twerk and have fun and you can also make a tangible impact in your communities for the better Boom, there you have it. All right, real talk. I think that she was ready for the backlash. I think that she understood that she would get some backlash. I don't think that she did it for the scene to get backlash and have this like uh, this uh, media frenzy about her. I think she was really just having fun and being genuinely herself. I think a lot of people are afraid and mad that America is changing or the status quo, like she said, is changing. But that's I mean, that's just how it is. You know, there's a new crop of young people coming out who don't want to do it the way that older folks who's on their way out has done it. So America is changing. But the thing is, I think the people who are afraid that America is changing don't care about if people see how racist they are or how ugly they are. And your real talk. I heard a lot of negative or hateful things come from black people also saying that they expect her to be a certain way. And, you know, that's cool, you know, if you think that she's misleading the youth, but I don't think that she's misleading the youth. I think the youth that is coming up now are smarter, just uh, have more intelligence and more open minded, free minded. That's what I really think. But leave it in the comments on what you think. I'm the Hemp Lord. Peace out.